Thank you for inviting me here. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so yes, to uh, start, start off with, uh, I'll introduce myself. Um, my name is James. Um, I've been working at Red Lodge for uh, six months now. So um, I'm still fresh to the job. Um, I'm only 20 years of age, so I'm also fresh to being an adult. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Um, but this is what, uh, what we've been doing in um, Red Lodge. Um, so we kind of I've split our work into uh, three kind of categories. Um, we have uh, meeting, engaging, and discipling. Um, so meeting being our gateways, um, moving into our other groups. So um, yeah, if you pass on to the next slide, that'd be great. So to start off with, um, we worked with um, schools um, in the last six months, and we've been able to start um, a Lego club. Um, now this was. Um, uh, working with our school, um, and there's sc two school, uh, primary schools in Red Lodge, and with one of them, uh, there's a family worker who um, found the Lego Foundation, um, who donated us Lego, um, and so we got a massive box of 11 kilograms of Lego. Um, yeah, yeah, my favourite day ever. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so we, um, we got this as a gift um, to uh, start a Lego Club um, for the community. Um, so just through Lego Club we've been able to invite um, so years three to six primary school children along um, to uh, meet me, um, get to know us as a church, as a group, and uh, just come and access the building. And as, as seems to be a recurring theme, a safe space to come and enjoy Lego. Um, it's also mean that we can use the Lego pretty free, um, freely, uh, which means we um, use it on our cafe days on a Saturday, um, which will be happening today. Mm -hmm. So if we can move on to the next slide. Um, so when we move on to our uh, more biblical aspects of our young people work, um, this is our Ignite, which um, Lego we use as a, an invitation to come along to our Ignite. Um, and Ignite um, is again for the same age group, um, years three to six, um, and yeah, fun, games, and then followed by a teaching, uh, which goes great. Uh, moving on to uh, more of my work, um, so we move on to Youth Cafe, um, there we go. Uh, yeah, so we start with year sixes, um, and uh, Youth Cafe is a great space which we've been able to um, use as an invitation to more. Uh, we've been using as a um, football is what they love to do. So we've got access to a um, football pitch, a um, floodlit astro, and uh, uh, we use that as like kind of like a come along, get to know me, um, and uh, safe space again um, is kind of the big, the big use of what we like to do. Um, so at Youth Cafe last night, um, I asked our young people, um, so just to give some context, and none of our young people go to church, um, access church, or have been to church before. And I asked them, how would they describe church? Um, so we started with, uh, we had a few nice words of friendly. Um, one young person said there's family there, um, which I thought was amazing. Um, but. There was also um, the word boring came up, so um, we've got a, we've got some work to do uh, with our young people at least um, to turn that around and move that forward. But using that, we can ask the young people what they want to see in our church, um, how they want it to grow, um, while keeping um, Jesus and God at the centre of what we're doing. Are we able to move on? So for our older lot, these are post year 11, so our six formers in college, um, I've been able to start Sunday evening bonfire crew, which is exciting as it sounds. Um, we, we sit around the bonfire together and have a conversation um, about how they're, so this is monthly, uh, so we'll talk about how their month's going, how school is going, um, and we will get on to faith and about how faith can actually is involved in their life today. Um, we do have one young person named Jaden um, who 
has found Jesus through TikTok, <laughs> which is amazing. So TikTok is a social media um, which has short form videos on, um, and through that there are Christians who are posting about Jesus, posting about the Bible, um, some are posting um, 30 second devotionals, um, some are posting just like little Bible um, like readings, <laughs> and through that Jaden has found, um, he sits at home and he um, will sometimes turn off TikTok now and be able to sit and read the Bible. Um, what he is missing and what he's um, absolutely craving is a church community to be a part of. If we move on to my next slide. So therefore, we are starting a youth church. Um, we are naming it Youth Church for the absolute intention for um, some of our, I'm going to call them hooligans, um, who come along to um, perhaps be less persuaded to interrupt and distract the rest. But Youth Church starts in April, and we're going to look at being creative out, um, creative look into the Bible, um, and it's going to be a place where they can ask questions, and we are hoping to start a bit of a worship band with our young people there. There's a number of them which play all sorts of different instruments. It might mean we end up with four drummers and no piano, but <laughs> <laughs> that'll be part of the fun. Um, but yes, that is where, that is where we're going. Um, we have another young girl who's in year seven now who's been coming to our Ignite and our youth cafe for years and years. Um, and she, she is desperate for youth church. I mentioned it to her a couple of weeks ago saying, we're starting it soon. And ever since, every time she's seen me, she's going, is youth church starting yet? Is youth church starting yet? Um, and she's really excited. Um, she volunteers with our messy church. Um, and she is just absolutely excited um, to learn more about Jesus. Is there another slide? There is. Beyond that, um, beyond Youth Church, once we have a worshipping community in Red Lodge, we're looking at growing small groups um, around Red Lodge in the local villages, um, hoping that our churches will be able to host um, some smaller groups um, in the area. Um, we also get chances to do weekends away, so uh, next week we're working with Newmarket YFC um, and we're looking at doing a, well it's a day, it was originally a weekend, it's now a day, um, in a local church um, where they can come together and be together. Thank you very much.